While she's just 26 games into her career and just 22 years old, Caitlin Clark is already making a profound and historic impact in the WNBA. Let's start with her passing, where in her final game before the Olympic break, she set the WNBA record for assists in a game where she dished out an incomprehensible 19 assists, breaking Courtney Vandersloot's previous record of 18. Now consider this, Vandersloot very well may end up the WNBA's all-time leading assister when she hangs it up, yet it took Clark less than 30 games to top her best mark. At 8.2 assists per game, Clark leads the league in assists. She's on pace to pass another legend in Tisha Penichero for the most ever by a rookie. And if the season ended today, only one player in league history Yes, Courtney Vandersloot will have dished out more assists in any season. The impact of her vision is felt by everyone. She sets up Aaliyah Boston on the roll, finds Kelsey Mitchell on the perimeter. She finds Nalissa Smith in the mid-range. She helps set up Tammy Fagbenle. And the sharpshooter Katie Lou Samuelson finds even more space when on the floor with Caitlin Clark. And here's the scary thing. It's completely unclear where her ceiling is. She's improved dramatically in her brief WNBA career. In the month of May, Caitlin Clark averaged 6.6 .6 assists per game. In June, she upped that to 7.2 assists per game. Then in July, before the break hit, a stunning 12.5 assists per game. And that's also without mentioning the fact that these Fever players have played together for just over two months. The chemistry on offense is growing, and quickly. But this young Fever team is still figuring each other out. And despite that, some of the offensive performances have been eye-popping. It's fair to say that at least right now, her vision is without equal in terms of first-year players in league history, and already among the very best, regardless of age, in the 28 years of WNBA basketball. All of this and we haven't even yet touched on what might be her biggest signature skill. Yes, the deep ball, which helped vault her into a collegiate sensation unlike anyone has ever seen before in her time at Iowa. Well, no surprise here. That skill set is translating right away, too. The WNBA three-point line is 22 feet away from the hoop. The average Caitlin Clark made three, 28 feet away, a whole six feet on average beyond the arc. And no one else is close. Diana Taurasi comes in at second, and her threes come at 26 feet from the rim. Clark is hitting her threes a full two feet further back. Clark has made 71 three-pointers this year. That's tied for third most in the WNBA, and it's more than triple the next highest rookie who's 23 years or younger. And that deep three-point shot, it's not just a novelty. They all, yes, count for three points, but Clark's seemingly unlimited range forces defenders to guard her much further away than they'd guard anyone else, which opens up other areas of her game and her teammates' game. When a defender has to pick up Caitlin Clark at 30 feet, Clark routinely makes that defender pay by blowing by her. This skill set is especially deadly in transition, where defenders have to make split-second decisions that oftentimes ends up being a pick-your-poison, leave a deadly three-point shooter open, or allow her to beat you off the dribble and with her passing. Her gravity alone makes her impactful even when the possession isn't run through her. Teams will regularly smother her from 30 to 35 feet from the rim, Sometimes it's an effective play for the Fever simply to allow her to be a decoy and the other players take advantage of their newfound space. Just take a look at the real estate her teammates have to work with this season compared to previous seasons. Caitlin Clark commands so much attention that the space on the floor her teammates have to work with is extremely advantageous. Look how it opens up Kelsey Mitchell. Look at the room to roam Aaliyah Boston has here. But at the end of the day, it's not one specific skill set that makes Caitlin Clark special. 
It's her all-around impact on the game. She's averaging over 17 points per game. That's top 15 in the WNBA. She's top 20 in the league in rebounding. And like her passing, her scoring just keeps getting better too. In her first 13 games of her career, Clark averaged 16 points per game on 37% shooting. Her second 13 games, 18 points per game on 43% shooting. She had one double-double in her first 13, eight double-doubles in her last 13, including, who could forget, July 6th, in a major upset over the New York Liberty, Caitlin Clark made even more history. Penetrating, Thornton with a three on the way, and the first triple-double for a rookie, Caitlin Clark has it! More history for the Fever rookie! There have been players that have scored at her level. There have been players who have averaged the assists that she has. There are a handful of guards that have been capable of rebounding at her level. But it's that rare combination of all of those skill sets that makes Clark so rare herself. Consider this. At the Olympic break, she's averaging 17 points and 8 assists per game. If she finishes the season with those numbers, there will be one player in league history to ever do it. And it'll be Caitlin Clark. The 2024 rookie class has been terrific. It will likely go down as one of the better, if not one of the best of all time. But forget comparing her to rookies. What she's doing, few players, regardless of age, have ever done. At this point, here at the WNBA's Olympic break, Clark belongs in the all-WNBA discussion.